Time now for our third of six professional fights tonight. Mike Kendall with the introduction for our next bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the VFC lightweight division and is brought to you by Werner Cycle Works. Introducing first, fighting out of the Werner Cycle Works blue corner. He stands at 5'10 and weighed in at 155 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of 10 wins, 3 losses. Training out of the cellar gym from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Kerry Vanilla. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the fire barn red corner, stands at five foot seven, weighing in at 155 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of 14 wins, four losses. Training out of Premier Combat Center from Omaha, Nebraska, Dakota Cochrane. Your referee is Dave Jobin. Dakota Cochrane. Kerry Veneer getting set to do battle here inside the VFC Square. And we are underway. Matt Kelly alongside VFC veteran Joe the Nose Wilk. And Joe had a couple decent battles so far. What do you expect here? I mean, I expect a, another great fight. You know, one thing about victory fighting championships is you're always going to have good fighters, good matchups, and a great crowd. And, and here we are again. We're experiencing it live, and I couldn't be more excited. This is our third live fight here on the VFC on Fox 42. Dakota ducking the right leg oh. from Vernier and Vernier throwing Dakota down to the mat. Yeah, you know, Dakota is known as being a, a really tough, good wrestler, and, and that was quite the throw there. Some athleticism definitely from Vernier. And, and now Dakota's got him. He's got a deep underhook there, double underhooks actually, and is working his back against the cage, controlling this position right now. Venere's looking to improve. Dakota Cochran with some heavy hands. Venere a little lankier and taller than Dakota Cochran, so again, we'll have to see how that might play out in this one. Yeah, you know, the body types can be deceiving sometimes. Sometimes the little squatty guys don't feel that strong, and sometimes those long guys are the strongest guys that ever put their hands on you. So you never can tell until you're in there, but I'll tell you what, I can tell right now from these two, they're both strong. Dakota keeping the pressure on him, keeping his body weight and veneer up against the cage. Yeah, Dakota's doing a good job. He's in there pretty deep. Uh, he's looking to control the legs there, and... Uh, Veneer again, here we go, looking at the neck. Um, we'll see if he wants to commit to this or if he's using it more as a defense to the takedown. And Dakota looks like he's staying calm and just trying to stay in there on the legs for now. Speaking of that, Joe, how tough for somebody that, that has never been in a situation like this, how tough is it to remain calm when you're in a situation like that? Well, it's, it's hard to remain calm in normal sports. When you're in a fight sport like this, uh, it adds a little bit to it. And that's one of the keys is being able to relax, not put yourself in a worse position, the frying pan to the fire, so to speak. And, and uh, Venera looks like he's, uh, he's going for this a little bit harder now, but Dakota's staying nice and calm. I think he's probably going to free his head out of this and, uh, and get back to a neutral position. Throwing a knee, and Dakota does break away, but Venera not wanting to let that up and still staying after it. Yep, and Venera's in deep here looking for a double. If he gets his hands together, Dakota might go for a ride, and there you go. And Dakota... Bounces right back up. He's got great hips. Great wrestling experience is really paying off right now. And uh, he's got Venera working hard for that double leg. Seen a lot of front headlocks tonight, Joe. Is it just me or <laughs> is that like the is that the move of the night? No, I'll tell you what, you know, it's a it's a common move. It's a move I use a lot. And, and uh, you know, it's uh, guillotine chokes are a choke that you don't necessarily have to have a dominant position to finish from. And so it can earn you a lot of quick victories. But as we've seen tonight, sometimes you end up in a bad position and sometimes you end up walking out with a first round submission. And we'll see how this goes with the rest of the fight. Another takedown from Venere just has great control of Dakota's hips and, and, and Cochran's known for being a tough wrestler here and he's forced to reposition and work from his back now. Well, and Joe, that's the thing about mixed martial arts that I've kind of grown to really enjoy is that, you know, you might get a guy that's a wrestler or a guy that's a stand-up guy that comes in and, you know, maybe that's what they want to try to do and implement and, and, you know, work their game plan. But at the same time, you know, you might see a guy that's maybe a striker that winds up being able to maybe control a guy that's known for his wrestling. I mean, that's that's what's so wonderful and, and great about this sport. 
Yeah, mixed martial arts, you know, is, is it's a great term. When I first started fighting, they called it no holds barred, NHB. And now MMA, it truly is, it's a mixed martial art. You have to know a little bit of everything, and you better be good at a lot of them if you want to hang in a show like the Victory Fighting Championships. Well, and especially as this sport has evolved, too. I mean, uh, it, it's a great avenue for wrestlers who don't really have anything, uh, you know, on the professional side of things to do. And, and who knows what's going to happen with Olympic wrestling. We all hope that it's going to wind up, you know, being able to survive and, and stay. But, um, you know, this is a great avenue for wrestlers. And, and I personally think, again, not having done it, but I think that wrestlers obviously have the best base for coming into mixed martial arts. Oh, and, and Dakota Cochran. Cochran. knocks him out. They stopped One, it. Two punches from Dakota Cochran. Oh, big shot there. Venera was fighting the ref for a second. I don't think they're going to complain about this because he's not getting up very quick. So, And those are the heavy hands from Dakota Cochran. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay as we get set to go to commercial break. Dakota Cochran, one, two, and Kerry Veneer takes a nap. First it was the punch, then an elbow, and then a hammer fist. We'll be back with the official decision right after this. This is the BFC on Fox. Back here at the Ralston Arena, our third fight in the books. Dakota Cochran getting the victory by knockout TKO. Mike Kendall with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Dave Chopin calls a stop to this fight. At four minutes, 23 seconds of the first round for your winner by knockout, Dakota Cochran getting the knockout victory tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some more fighting. This is the VFC on Fox 42.